Hey guys, welcome back. So in this channel, I particularly pay more interest in solving issues when you're actually using cloud services in our real world projects. And uh, in the last two videos, we have been mainly focusing about Lambda layers. In the very first video, I gave an introduction to Lambda layers and then I showed you how we can configure Lambda layers to develop locally, which is really important. So in the same time, I've been using Lambda layers in one of my production projects. So in this production project, we are using Lambda code in TypeScript. So we use TypeScript and also we use serverless framework and we are using serverless Webpack plugin for module loading and transpiling stuff. But uh, when we started using Lambda layers with TypeScript, we had to face several issues. One of the issues was the serverless Webpack plugin is not yet supporting for Lambda layers. And uh, two of my team members, they been working around this for a couple of uh, days and they finally came up with a solution. So in this video, I'm going to present that solution. So that is brought to you uh, by the courtesy of my two friends, Andrew and Keshav. So big thanks to them as well. So I hope this video will help you to prevent some frustration uh, when you are using Lambda layers with TypeScript. Okay guys, so this is how our folder structure. So I have a folder for layers. So this is a serverless service called layers. And, and here I'm defining my layers. Now uh, this is an example project. So let me just have only one layer, it's called database. And the layer code is in TypeScript. So let me show you that. So you can see under layers section, the path is database. So it will refer here and it will go along with this particular uh, folder structure, node.js, node module database. And we talked about this in previous two videos. And you can see there's a source folder. So under this source folder, there is index.ts. So this file contain my database layer code. So it's basically creating a connection and creating models from uh, the schemas that I've defined here. So I have only one schema, user schema, and I can have as many schemas as possible. So all my Lambda functions can use this layer to create connection as well as create models. So uh, use these schemas. Okay, now this is my intention. I want to create all my Lambda layers using this particular serverless file. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer those Lambda layers inside my other services. Here I have an example user service. So in this service, if I go into serverless.yaml file, and so this is one of my Lambda functions, so that's called get users. So it has this particular layer section. I'm referencing that particular layer ARN. And in the last video, we discussed about how we can use cloud formation function to get the latest ARN of the Lambda layer. So if I'm using normal JavaScript, there are no any issues. You can simply use this way. But since I'm using TypeScript, there are some concerns. Now there are no any issues to use the Webpack plugin in my uh, other microservices like users, to-dos and all that. So I can simply uh, add the serverless plugin under the plugin section and simply use serverless Webpack plugin to transpile my code. And you can see uh, the Webpack config file here. And in this webpack config file, so it's getting all my TypeScript file and then compile them and add to an output directory called dot webpack. So in the dot webpack, everything will be in JavaScript. So I can easily package it and push it to AWS Lambda. So this is all fine, no problem. But the problem here is if we want to use serverless webpack plugin in Lambda layers. Now here's the number one issue. Serverless Webpack plugin does not yet take entries from this layers section. Now, if I want to define a layer, I have to put this separate section called layers. And here I am defining uh, the path where my TypeScript code for layer lies right here. But it's not go into here and uh, grabbing this TypeScript file so that it is not compiling any of my TypeScript files. So that is one of the issues. And of course you can fix it by going into the serverless webpack plugin and edit their library code. And in fact, we have reported an issue in uh, the serverless webpack GitHub repo as well. You can see the Andrew reported it. And you can read this to get more information about this particular issue. 
But in summary, the issue is it's not first loading all the TypeScript file inside the layers. And even if we change the serverless webpack library code, the output file structure, once it is being transpiled, is different. So it's not maintaining this Node.js, Node modules, and then database, and finally outputting the compiled JavaScript file. So what we did as an workaround is this. We did not add serverless webpack plugin for layers. Although we use for other services that use layers, we did not add it to the layers. So we are using normal TypeScript. So I can of course here type and script call compile and I will just TSC so that we will run TypeScript locally. And we have added a TS config file. So this TS config is different from a serverless webpack config file. Here what we are saying is we ask it to include all the files that is included in database node.js and inside this file structure and we ask it to take all this TypeScript file that is inside the source directory so it will grab all our lambda layer TypeScript file and then we are going to output to a another directory called dist inside the database folder you can see so the folder structure for the output directory is database node.js node modules database and we are going to create another folder called dist and inside that put all this transpiled code and let me show you that real quick so i will go into layers folder so in here i have this ts config file here so i'm going to tsc or i can use npm run compile but i will use tsc so that will go ahead and transpile my typescript file let me show you that and under database the source folder I should see the dist folder let me refresh it there you go and I have the dist folder and I have the JavaScript version of my TS file perfect and then we are doing another configuration to package.json file so in the package.json file we are defining the main entry point so as the main entry point we instruct it to go into the dist folder and then find the index.js file Otherwise, it's going to go and find a index.json at this level, which it's not going to find out. And I don't want to point it to the source folder because there's this TypeScript file, which is not going to work. But instead, I will point it to this slash index.js. So what this will does is if I go to a, a service, let's say the user service that is using this particular Lambda layer in that package.json file, I'm referencing that database layer locally as a file reference. Can you see this one? So this is under dev dependencies because we need it only for local development. So I define the name as database so I can import database without an issue. Let me show you how I have imported it. If I go to handler.ts in users folder and can you see? So this run without an issue in locally thanks to our dev dependency. So what happens is in local development, it will go into this particular folder level. Let's say here layers, database, node.js, node modules, and database. So at this point, it will go into the package JSON and it will try to find out what's the main entry. So it will see the main entry is this slash index. So it will go into the disk folder and index.js and it will pull the compiled version of TypeScript file. So that's the first part of our workaround when using Lambda layers in TypeScript for local development. And there's another step that is very small thing. We have to add a small change in the serverless.yml file of all the services that make use of these layers. So here I am inside this user serverless.yml file and you can see we are using serverless webpack here because this is not the layer code and it works fine perfectly with these uh, normal services. And this is the addition. We need to forcefully exclude the local database dependency. Now in the package JSON under dev dependency, we have referenced it using this uh, folder reference. Now when Webpack starts compiling this code, it will see this database and it will try to resolve using our dependencies. So it will see the database dependency is defined in dev, but it is not defined in dependencies, normal dependence section. 
So it's going to complain this one has to be inside uh, dependencies, which we really don't want to have because once we upload this code to Lambda, it's going to use Lambda layer, not any local dependencies. So that's the main reason why we use Lambda layers in the first place. We want to share code across all our services. So make sure you add this configuration as well. So then it won't uh, try to resolve this database dependency. So those are the main fixes, guys. I will try to upload this code into a GitHub repository and add that uh, link in the description as well. So I hope Webpack serverless plugin will add a fix for this or else if you guys are resolving this issue using a different method, please put that in the comment section as well. If not, I hope this workaround will be helpful to somebody using serverless with Webpack. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a new video.